Jeremy, thanks for joining us um, live here at the Sea Change Conference. Um, it would be good, I suppose, just to pick up on your views on the real estate industry in comparison to others. Um, you know, everybody says it's very complex uh, attempting to make these changes. But what's your take on that? Richard, um, the real estate industry is complicated. As you rightly know, it has many actors who have played different roles within the system from the capital providers to the developers to the construction companies to the tenant. So it is inherently very complicated and operates within a complex policy environment. The one thing I can tell you is that I have worked in multiple industries over the last 15, 20 years on their transformation journeys uh, from the steel industry to the energy industry to the food industry to the fashion industry to tourism every single industry explains to me how they are the most complicated industry on the face of the planet they therefore legitimately are going slower than other industries there are good reasons why they should be allowed a little bit more time um, and that set of arguments might have been relevant 15, 20 years ago when we had just a bit more time to deal with the climate and nature challenges that we face. Today, those arguments do not hold. Um, so the real estate industry is a fantastic industry filled with astonishing, creative, brilliant um, actors. Um, and I have great confidence in their ability to overcome the complexity of their sector. Um, and what I suppose is, is going to drive it, is it carrot, is it stick, is it, does it come from regulations? Um, how, do you, how do you see the role of the investors in this, in this transformation? The key to any transformation is the creation of demand for new products and new solutions. It's as simple as that. It always comes from the demand for new solutions. Um, the key people to demand that in this industry, especially given that there are differences everywhere from one geography to the next, the investors will play an absolutely critical role in sending a demand signal right, through the real estate industry. Um, they can do so by recognizing two simple, if you will, propositions. One is that they have an opportunity to build the kind of, if you will, assets that tenants will want, not just today, but over the next 10 or 20 years. And, and that is driven by a more general, I think, flight to quality. It's not just about climate and carbon, but it is a more general flight to quality, of which carbon and net zero is a component. And the second, so that's the upside, that's the carrot, to your language, and the stick, very simply, is that I think those investors who fail to properly price in climate risk into their capital allocation and their portfolio decisions will be those investors that will be left with stranded assets. And do you get a sense that really this industry, but also others, I guess, isn't taking that seriously enough, isn't acting quickly enough? It's not acting quickly enough, um, that's for sure. Um, there are some brilliant investors who are at the forefront, and we're very privileged as systemic to be working with a number of those investors in the context of the LOTIF Leaders of the Urban Future Initiative, which brings 10 progressive, ambitious investors, LPs and GPs, half a trillion dollars, and they want to send that demand signal. What's the North Star for net zero? So there are some fantastic investors, but this is the biggest asset class in the world. Right, so half a trillion dollars is a lot of money, at least by my standards, I don't know about yours, um, but we need tens of trillions of dollars um, and we need to get on with it quickly. And so what we have to do is to take that simple logic of the carrot, right, flight to quality, the stick, don't get stuck with stranded assets and, and scale it from the half a trillion set of investors that we have to the next to, to the first hundred, right? And then we, we don't need a thousand, right? We need to just start scaling it. And one of the things that we have discovered, Richard, time and again, is when you get to a critical mass, and maybe it'll be 30, 40 of the big guys, we create a tipping point in the system. And the investors in this industry are the players that are most likely to, to create that tipping point for the industry as a whole. 
fascinating to get your insights around both what needs to be done here in the real estate industry, but also the comparisons and perspectives from for other industries. Um, thanks very much for joining us, Jeremy. A pleasure. Thank you.